planning to just drive this thing today, but Josh and Christian is just inside, offered to tow me, so we have got... Do it right. Hell yeah, it's a proper setup. People are gonna think we're professionals, but I don't even know how to drift. But these seats are tight, hey. Yeah. They'll get sticky when they're warm though. Maybe. Probably gonna have to clutch kick it. about it pretty stoked it's good fun the car performs awesome so far yeah it looks looks good to drive how are you going you still buddy running bro yeah, hey, you're doing better than me that's our power not my best run i don't reckon you need the handbrake to make that second turn yeah you, i can just if, go if you held the throttle on you should get enough like momentum as long as you're wide enough, you should be sweet. Like, I reckon you would have made that without the handbrake. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I don't know, I 
tried to commit too hard and then I had to hold it full throttle or I was going yeah. towards that barrier. Hope you can hear me. Uh, definitely picking up. It's good fun. Starting to link it a bit more. No issues with the car except the front tires are definitely rubbing on the guards, which you can see there's rubber on my window. It's just going everywhere. It's going to be a serious mess to clean up, but we haven't hit anything yet and the car's good, so all good so far. Jokes. such soft rubber it's just going to be a nightmare to clean but the car is performing perfect i don't think i've shown you guys these wheels i bought for drifting some very special wheels actually quite rare ray's 57 gtc with the titanium lip so they're a pretty unique wheel discontinued a fair few years ago just got some old tires on it at the moment which seem to be lasting pretty well but you know, i quite like these with the te's actually i think it's not a bad combo mismatch for drifting. Pretty happy with my progress honestly, linking almost the whole track now. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool how learning on a sim does convert over to real life pretty well. But it's almost two o'clock now, so I'll probably just do a few more laps um, and then head home, I guess, but it's a solid day.
Dude. <laughs> Last run of the day. See how it goes. safe and sound but I got to show you the cars that Josh and Christian are building which aren't quite ready yet so this is Christian's 180 yep pretty sick have not seen this yet a bit of work a few people might hate this but <laughs> it is gonna be absolutely insane it's perfect like for what it is LS for drifting yeah absolutely I mean, yours is good but I had an SR and it just wasn't enough well it was too laggy for me yeah won't go into full detail but Let's have a look at the level of the interior and everything on this. It's crazy. So that, like the floor is stripped and everything. A dash and door card, so nice. Far out. Yeah, yeah budget build. I went to wrap it black and then it pulled the paint off. So oh damn. <laughs> it didn't look like that a week ago. And the pink theme. Yep. Hell yeah. This is Josh's one, S15. It's got a bit going on. It's not much of an S15. <laughs> Just a little bit. So we got, we got a 8,000 RPM LS that's being built with, by me and Mitch Pullen are building it. So it's gonna be NA, we have to 8,000, which should be about 600 horsepower NA. Same spec interior as Christian's. This is where all the, all the cool stuff is happening. Yeah, it's like, it literally looks like a dune buggy now. So we got, this is my sump, my dry sump. So I'm gonna have to run lines the whole way to the front. We've got radiator in here. Fuel cell is like directly between the strut towers. So it's like all the weight on the diff. So it's all kind of done for more weight in the back. I don't know if you can see the diff. The yeah, the diff is yeah, from under here. It's probably the coolest, one of the coolest parts of the car is the diff. Yeah, that's so. mint. It doesn't okay. actually sit that low. Nah, it's all right. We've, he's done it like pretty well, so it's, it's a 10 inch winter's quick change, so we can just get different gear sets and change it within like five minutes, yeah. which is pretty cool. Now this rear end, is, it's like, it's so clean. Yeah, he's done a really good job. This is a pretty ugly engine at the moment. It's got a hole in the side, but <laughs> this is, it's just a dummy block. So we've got individual throttle bodies, so they all open individually, it's pretty cool. It looks satisfying from the top. You just hear all that induction sound. Um, yeah, but trying to keep it real basic in the engine bay so it's going to be pretty pretty empty like and pretty basic so we're just going to have like two lines that run there some oil lines and then just wiring and that's it yeah i don't know if i'd call this basic but <laughs> <laughs> yeah some of the jdm boys won't like it but i've always had commodores so i've built something that i know i've got you know if something goes wrong i've got five other LS's <laughs> sitting here that I can steal coil packs off or steal you know, spark plug leads. Two absolutely insane cars. Can't wait to see these going. Yeah, not long now. Yeah, that's it guys. Had to show you their cars because they're super cool. Probably definitely get some videos and go out with them the first time they get their cars running. But yeah, that's it. Finally drifted the 15. It was good fun. Nothing broken. And definitely we'll do it again, I'd say. It was very good fun. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.